This video is brought to you by Reap and Soul Productions, where you can use the code Reap What You Soul to reap what you sow. Use the like, alert, and subscribe buttons, please, and also leave comments. So I can put the video. So I'm here doing the arena booster openings. I've been waiting on this for a while. This is a project I was working on, and I have 79. Theros Beyond Deaths, because I bought the original uh, kit, and I've been playing for a while, and I got seven Throne of Drave, and I got this one guy. I'm gonna see what this one guy does, because that's a Corset 2019. I don't know what it's doing there, but it's there. How I want it, can't remember. It was just, uh, I guess, a gift from one of the Historics. So I can play Historic, I guess. You can see I'm at gold this and you know, that's all my stuff. Uh, so anyway, so let's start with the opening. I'm gonna only do like maybe 10 or 15 of these just to see. Um, I'll do most of the Theros Beyond because that's the most I have. So I'll do one, two. Uh, so that's what we're going for. So let's do the Theros, see what happens. And you know what, and if you can play them, you know, if you go back and forth, you can play music. Anyway, I'm goofing around. So, these are the new cards that I have. And these are my first cards. And I haven't played them. Wings of Hubris. How many cards I can use? Hmm. And it's still a corner. I own the enchanted creatures. Yeah, I played a, a broad deck with this guy, and I don't know why they let him be a, a commander when it's an action enchantment creature. Because you can't kill it unless you have even a disenchant, you have to exile it. So pretty much, you play with this, you almost put a good white deck. You basically is broken and you can't win. So that's that. Moon on. Set your layout to X line cards and then put them in your hand and shut the side burn. Oh, this is a hurricane and you get land out of it? Ingenious. Not a land hurricaner for commander. Some new cards. So remember, these are cards I don't have on, I've been playing like for a while and these are the cards I don't have access to, to right now, one to be four, so that's a good hit. Yeah, one more. Let's see if I can get anything. Now I got a gold card. Since I opened all these cards for 70 something cards, I would get like three or four mythic um, wild cards and I'll probably get at least four more gold wild cards. The rest will be uncommon and common. Look at all the new cards. Oh, I want to do this one. I want to play with this. I don't want to play with this one just because I can. On the stage, you can check it. Plus one, plus one, I have haste. Hmm. But not too many strong satyrs, though. So you have to use the other cards. Yeah, they can make them pump up. That's new, that's new, that's new, that's new. So that's more new cards. Alright. Just a couple more of these thoroughs and this will happen. Alright. So I'm getting I'm getting a uh, uh I would say uh yeah hero of next born and I got this one a liar so that's new and what's what Mythic. Pluck a nose unchained. Let's see. Then we dealt to Pluck a nose while a one more counter is on. Oh. Yeah, so this is a card. I don't know why that people are not playing with this. You, you thought I'd make a deck out of that one. Alright, moving on. I'll do one. Throw another drain. Uh, 
an opportunity. So that's a new card on this one. And I got two ball cards out of it. Wow. Sacrifice the Anarchy of Sevens can't be blocked. Yeah, if you can do something on that and put on like a nice enchantment on that, good to go. Because you already put the island, you have to sacrifice, you have to tap it, you just sacrifice it. So you do. Alright, moving on. One more to throw on green. Another new one. When Conormenta enters the battlefield, untap the sack of the creature control. Oh, I shouldn't have it in my pool. And I got another um, wild card. Add seven, and you can cast only one more spell this turn. So that costs you four for seven. And um, you can you can cheat out something real big on on turn four on that. There's a lot of seven. Casting costs like dragons and dinosaurs and stuff like that. And um, if you're on turn five, you turn this out, and you have the other two. Uh, you can put out a, yeah, you can put out some nasty with this card. No, I people won't use it. It's kind of hard to have four in your deck though, because you have all those high casting cost creatures. So him my first. Here's another first. His first is Osworth Oathworth Knight. Oath Sworn Knight. Excuse me. I enter the battlefield with four one counters on it. I'm not going to each combat table. If damage would be dealt to the downward. Well, it's has a one counter on it. Prevent that damage and move one counter on it. Hmm. Yeah. So I can do stuff in turn three, but it doesn't have haste. Get your target. Oh, so this is a um, active treasury with just one mana. If it's like a long castle cost, that's actually very good. I beat somebody with that. Um, he put a uh, 1818 18 something out on turn five. And I had an active treasury, and my other creature can only be blocked by two creatures. He had no creature, so with that, I took him out in one turn. So, it can happen. Alright, so let's do this. One more. I got so many of these, so let's do two more. Another, um, ball card. So, basically, on this, this set, I'm, I'm basically... Basically, on the next set, when it comes out, with all the wild cards I would have, um, I'm about to show you how many wild cards I have already. Laura of the Real Top Six cards. Omega oh, and online cards from them, and you put the rest. That's a Wheel of Fortune with a caveat. And it costs a lot of mana. Yo, and opponent exiles an online card from among them, and you put the rest. Cast the exile card without paying the money. Hmm. So you can get holes with this. It's almost like a word of command. Anyway, I don't even know what that is anyway. Another first. Another mythic uh, wild card. Enchant creature or enchantment permanent is an enchant or lose all the. Mm. All the types. Okay. Another first. Test that creature or enchantment appointment controls those hand. Moss Viper. Right here, this is a good card. I don't care. A 1 1 depth touch is amazing. Another mythic. Wild card. So I have 94 common, 125 uncommon, 17 rare, and 5 mythic rares that I can 
um, transform or what, what, what the game says to uh, you know make it to a uh, there's not a first escape pick up four other cards in the ship with three hmm so for five six seven kind of late in the game but it's a seven seven no trample though so this one and has hex proof and whenever a creature with death charge blocks you become blocked by this creature just for my creature oh so this is death proof proof that's kind of neat moving on see what's on what's the time of certain hippocamp Whenever you cast your first spell during an opponent, draw a card. That's good for a, a counter spell deck, and yeah, that's definitely a Nimbusit card. Landing on the Titans, each player puts the top three cards. Exile, return, target creatures, and land creatures. Yeah. Oh, this is useful for two mana. All right, moving on. So I got three new ones, but not out of that one. Let's go to show you how many cards that are in the set that I don't even have. That's a Seder. That's an Aura that looks like a Seder. Sacrifice a creature or enchantment. Do some damage to a creature. For a future, not a player. If it's a player or a chairman or uh, a playing card, it would be good. So, and I get another uncommon. Talking about a C. Devotion of blue. Alright. There's a thing for blue. Human shaman. When. This is new. When Storm Hill enters the battlefield, return any number of R cards from your graveyard to the battlefield attached to creature you control. And so those R's at the beginning of your next end step, the R's will be leave the battlefield and then set up. So this is, I guess, an enchantment card. But if you have like one or two good enchantments, I guess all you need is one good one. And like an Emmacleave. Or something like that, or no, well, everything's an African artifact, or something like that. Yeah, there's three first and an uncommon. Moving on, another first. What's this first say? Whenever an enchantment enters the battlefield on your control, put a one count on target creature. That creature gains flying. Is that in a turn? Since there's a lot of enchant enchantment creatures out there. You can have a whole deck with enchantment creatures and go bonkers. And look at that be and let's see what's behind door number one. Another gold. So I'm thinking this time I'm gonna get a mythic. So I'm I'm ready for one. Or I'm due. I'm ready. At our, our opening. So this is what? Full fun haven, enchant land. Enchant land is time for mana, throw it as additional green. Green Wolf. I played against this. And what's this new one? Four, 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 three. Minotaur. Actually, that's a decent card. And the only reason I have the three on there so that you can lighten bolt it if you have your playing red. That's why they put the defense that low. They want to keep it for if you play a certain deck or certain kind of cards that you can get rid of it because this will kill you in. Four turns. So new one. Temple thief can be blocked by enchanted creatures or enchantment creatures. It's a two-two. Very specific. Intervention. Look at the top X of your library. Put up to two of them in your hand, and the rest of your library in any order. Counter target spell unless this one plays. Twice X. 
I see more people play the counter spell of this than the look at the top X cards. And late in the game, if you have um, five mana, getting three card look is it's basically a um, brainstorm. You can do at the end of the turn, so they made it more harder to do, but it's there. What's my method? I need my mythic wild card. Come on now. Not a first. Alright, here my first. Escape. Escape or any other creatures from your graveyard. And while well, discard pepper dies, create a zero one goat. We have goats. Legend enchantment. Pentar. Right now power is equal to your devotion to green. You change your control into the battlefield when there's one counter on it. It's a very expensive pot collector. Here's an arrow at the end of town where you can ask for the creatures from your graveyards. Hmm. The second one is probably very targeted. If you're playing a, a certain deck that you need to take the creature out of the graveyard, sometimes you just need to take one. But the XX to end a turn, you get X life. Um, that's very, very useful. Yeah, especially if they have indestructible, you can X, X one. And especially those pesky uh, legendary enchantments when they turn into creatures. Because once they get the XS, when they turn the creatures, they're indestructible. Um, this will hit them. This will take them out. And this is very useful. Alright, what's going on here? Medomize. 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 Prophecy. Sky choose. Choose a card name. Okay. But you have to be able to cast it. And it can't be a land, so you, you, you might whip on this one. Oh man, it's not as bad as Sky One. Hmm. It's a six. So it's a good blocker, so for five, to Sky One? I don't know. Other creatures you control have Trample. Yeah, this is good. Because if you can, if you're playing uh, a green BC type deck and this is only cost five and most of your creature can be like four mana and you can like have like three of them while you get this out and they get trampled because they're bigger like book collector and stuff like that now trample yeah this is a good card right here and it's common this one's all these are all the colors have now uh scry and they implemented the scry thing because they want you to go through your deck and get answers because they don't want you to get um hosed up too much and i've used this before and it um it's useful um you gotta use the right time sometimes i didn't use the right time i got hosed but it's it's a flash you get you it, it's useful and all colors have one of these and they do something different and they're very useful every deck should have one Here's a blessing. Enter the battlefield. Draw three cards. You cast a spell. You lose one. Hmm. But if you target the enchantment with a new enchantment removal spell. Hmm. So this is um So this you getting three cards for free and you can't get rid of it. So this is a mm, very difficult card to use uh in certain circumstances it's probably be useful. Um drawing the three cards for certain decks is like a rat deck um when you need to draw three cards and you need three rats. 
and card draw for black is costly. Hmm. So this is the black version of uh, Savannah Mines, huh? But it has Death Touch. Two mana for Death Touch? Yeah. I know. Death Touch stops even Trample. I mean, you can Trample over you. If it doesn't kill you, it's still dead. Alright, let's do new cards. Alright. Let's do the last The last uh, pack. It's going to be the 2019 for this episode. I uh, hope you enjoyed this episode. Remember to hit the like, subscribe, and alert button so you can see my next video. I hope it was entertaining for you. It's educational for me. Uh, like I said, I still have 67 of these to go. So, you can imagine, I'm going to get at least three more, four more mythic wild cards out of this. Um, not even to mention the, uh, the gold wild cards. So, when the next set comes out, coming soon, I pretty much can make any deck. And I hope to provide uh, some good entertainment on that part. Um, you, know, you want to get some good decks out there. When you get the spoilers, and I can buy the people these set and just go bonkers get some good uh tier one decks out of this okay trust me and then the battlefield return target artifact or cards from your graves to your hand yeah it's used to if you use one of those uh, artifacts that draw you cards and uh it has mana and you can yeah, bring it back. So if that's your plan to mana ramp, then you can use it for a card and then bring it back. That's what I'm talking about. This 2019, that was that's what I'm talking about right there. That's that's the shit's name right there. That card right there is makes all your big creatures cheaper. And the other card I was just talking about when it makes them trample, this is a four drop. So that five drop is actually a four drop to make it happen. Actually, it's like a three drop because it's by two and they call it a trample. That's the business.